from the campus of California State University, Sacramento. This is Made at Sac State. Welcome, welcome to Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. We're here to share the Sac State story and celebrate our students and the faculty and the people who are helping them prepare for the future. The College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics emphasizes hands-on experience and interaction with professors. NSM students study biology, chemistry, mathematics and statistics, physics and astronomy, and more. Joining us now is Dean Jill Trainer, Dean of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, and Mary Blake, who is a senior and a student here in the College of NSM. Thank you both for joining us. Dean Trainer, we'll begin with you. First, tell us a little bit about the mission of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Well, our educational mission is twofold. First, we prepare graduates in our majors for lifelong success in their science and mathematics careers. And second, we foster math and science literacy in the greater community, both on campus and off campus. I want to get to Mary. You have a fascinating um, story and, and goals in your life. So tell us first, um, what, are you, what have you studied in NSM and, and what do you want to do in the future? I'm currently studying biology with the emphasis of biomedical sciences. And so, uh, like uh, Dr. Trainer said, we have hands-on laboratory. I'm taking histology right now, and we get to look at slides and look at different tissues at the microscopic level so we can identify, like, maybe if we see an aorta or uh, the uh, small intestines. And then... Um, my goal is to become a doctor for children with cancer one day and have recreational opportunities for my patients and families to, to go to to increase their self-esteem and self-confidence. How has the College of NSM prepared you for your future career as a doctor? Well, I uh, think they've prepared me very well. Uh, there's a lot of programs with NSM that help with support and keep you motivated and have good grades. I currently am in the Science Educational Equity Program, mm -hmm. and they have you do advisor meetings every semester, just making sure you're on top of everything and your grades are doing well. Okay. Dean Trainer, tell us um, how closely connected is your college to the community? Well, we're involved in the community in a number of ways. Probably the most direct way is through our two public lecture series. We have two lecture series that are free and open to the public. One of them is on STEM topics, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Uh, the speakers are either Sac State faculty or off-campus speakers. Our second series is on regenerative medicine, and it's funded by the California Institute for Regenerative Medicine and it allows us to bring top scientists to campus to talk about the latest breakthroughs in stem cell research and their applications to medicine. I know that um, when we were watching the video clip, we were just watching one of the STEM lectures, and um, we also had um, uh, Congresswoman Doris Matsui here recently. How um, closely involved are you in helping get funding for our college or your college and for Sacramento State? Well, the faculty have been very aggressive about pursuing funding. Uh, for our laboratories, and we uh, recently opened a new laboratory, our Chimera Laboratory, uh, with funding which we received with the help of Congresswoman Matsui and also some competitive grants from National Science Foundation. All right, so this is just very important work that you do and your faculty does, um, not only being very involved with the students, but also making sure you have the right tools to teach. Yes. All right, and I want to just close out. Mary Blake, what are you planning uh, for the future, for the near future? Well, on May 30th, I'll take my MCAT to help me go into medical school, and then over the summer, I'm going to go to Ireland and work at a summer camp for children with cancer. All right, all right, very, very good. And thank you both very much, uh, Dean Trainer, for being here and for setting the tone for the rest of the show. And uh, thank you, Mary, and good luck with your studies and your future. Thank you. All thank right. You. Thank you. So, for more on the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. And still to come, Dean Trainer talked about it a little bit. What is Chimera? A visit to one of our newer updated labs. All right. So we have gone. I have. Um, Hi, I'm John Kanemoto, I'm a mathematics major, and I'm made at Sac State. Hi, my name is Luke Parker, I'm a math major, and I'm made at Sac State. Here we go, 
It all comes down to this. There's the handoff. He's going to left. He's got an opening. What a move. Look at him. At the 20, the 15. He's going all the way. Touchdown. Wow. What a success story as this kid has come out of nowhere. And now look at him. This is a real game changer. The fans, they're going wild. Talk about a defining moment. Only here. Only at Sac State. This is pandemonium. The unveiling of this renovated molecular lab represents an investment in science, higher education, and as I said, our nation's future. Sacramento State is an institution that is renowned. Uh, you're known not only throughout the state, but throughout the country. It's a place where students go to further their education, but also a place where cutting edge research is leading to the discoveries of tomorrow. And welcome to Professor Tom Savage. You are a chemistry professor here at Sac State. Yes, thank you. Thank you for being here. Tell us a little bit about uh, Chimera. What is Chimera exactly? Sure, Chimera stands for the Center for Molecular Biology, Education and Research and Advancement. And what we really are is a facility designed to uh, provide students with the experience that they need to, to further careers. And what the Chimera does is to provide a state-of-the-art facility so that students can get that experience in the type of lab that they'll actually see in their work environment or in graduate school, uh, and with the equipment and with the facilities and tools so that they can get that experience so they can have that on their resume or their graduate school application, wherever they might be going to, to further their career. Now we are watching video right now of the before and after photos mm -hmm. of the lab. How uh, much work did it take here to transform this lab? It was a lot of work. We were very fortunate to get uh, good support from the National Science Foundation uh, to take what was a, an animal care facility and basically turn it into a modern molecular and cell biology facility. And uh, the whole construction phase took about uh, nine months and then there was a, a lot of effort that went into the, to the planning and permitting process. Describe the lab now as it exists. So uh, there are about six different rooms, each focused on different areas uh, from a general molecular biology room and towards a real state-of-the-art uh, eukaryotic cell culture room to be able to do stem cell research. Uh, we have a, a room that's dedicated for uh, microbiology and a room that uh, houses uh, some pretty sophisticated uh, cell analysis equipment, microscopes and, uh, and these sorts of things. And uh, again, it really provides students with um, access to, to the, the state-of-the-art equipment that they need uh, to be able to get the experience that, that will help them out. It's a difference in night and day. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's, uh, we had been uh, working and sort of making do and having the support uh, from, the, from NSF and uh, from our other partners. It's really allowed us to give the students a great opportunity. So recently we, uh, we took a visit to the lab and uh, we talked to three students and they just gave us kind of a quick overview of some of the uh, experiments they're working on. Let's take a, sure. take a listen. So we're using these and we're, going, and we're hoping to be able to use them therapeutically to heal diabetic foot ulcers. Is there a problem that arise from chronic wounds? Yeah, so they have vascular complications that lead to uh, basically wounds that don't heal. Our experiment is to examine the APOE1 lipoprotein, and that protein is one of the, it, it's one of the things that um, provides for anti-clotting in your bloodstream. So it keeps, it's one of the things that stop you from having like coronary artery disease and also is seen in the precursors of Alzheimer's. Um, I work in Dr. Young's plant lab and we study Arabidopsis and tomato plants and we have created a construct, um, basically uh, our own DNA that we wanted to insert into the plant to see if we can change the way that it behaves and grows. And this is an experiment to test the effectiveness of the DNA that we've put in. And so we're going to separate the DNA based on its size after we've cut it so that we can see if we cut and pasted the DNA the way that we wanted to and that if it's been effective. So we have undergraduate students and graduate students both working on various uh, experiments and long-term experiments. Describe some of the, the work that the students are doing here on campus. Sure, you bet. I mean, besides the examples that you just saw in, uh, in those clips, 
Um, we have students uh, working with Dr. with Mary McCarthy, for example, who are uh, looking at uh, native plants uh, that, uh, according to uh, traditional Native Americans, had certain medicinal properties, and then looking at the compounds within those plants to see if they actually have the ability to the inhibit the growth of breast cancer cells. And so that's where the, uh, the um, cell culture facility uh, uh, is uh, very much in use. Uh, my own research is one of metabolic biochemistry in which we actually uh, look at um, how a diatom in the ocean makes a naturally occurring neurotoxin that uh, poisons a lot of seals and sea lions and understanding what the environmental triggers are that actually turn on the biosynthesis uh, of that compound. Uh, other examples, as we saw in the clip, um, uh, Dr. Linda Roberts, students working with Dr. Linda Roberts, are, are looking at protein structure, particularly the protein that is involved in cholesterol transport and uh, is able to uh, help clear cholesterol and trying to understand how natural variation in that protein is related to differences in risk towards cardiovascular disease. Thank you so much for being here. It mm -hmm. is truly amazing. The, the kind of work uh, that you're, you're doing here at Sac State and, and the great work you and the rest of the faculty are doing at NSM. Thanks, and it's just a lot of fun, and it's particularly a lot of fun working with the students. The students are fabulous, yeah. and we'll, we'll hear more from them uh, throughout the show. Great. But great. thank you so much, and for more on uh, the College of NSM, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. And still to come, it's really interesting. Uh, we're covering a lot of the uh, new um, research on what it takes to use stem cells for therapeutic uh, applications. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get a lot of hands-on training. Hi, my name is Magda, and I'm a bio major made at Sac State. Hi, my name is Ify Agwani. I'm a bio major, and I'm made at Sac State. I'm Alex Gonzalez, the president of Sacramento State. I invite you to our beautiful and vibrant campus. We have nationally recognized academic and student programs. We have community partnerships that create jobs and internships for our graduates. We are Sacramento's university. Sacramento State's location in the nation's most dynamic state capital gives our students an advantage, no matter what they choose to study. We're very proud of our academic programs. Professors work directly with the students in the classroom and the laboratory. Students have the opportunity to perform cutting-edge research, and this research we do is put into use in our community as well as around the globe. Our students form deep connections with the campus thanks to exciting activities, our new housing options, and our state-of-the-art recreation and wellness center. There's something for every interest. We have a new sweet style residence hall that's won awards for environmental sustainability and efficiency. Students can live right on campus and walk to class. And make new friends. Sacramento State features student excellence in events and entertainment. We've won team championships in many sports, and we are proud to present award-winning performing arts programs. Sacramento State is the place to learn, to lead, and to succeed. Come check us out. We are a destination campus for our students and our community. Welcome, welcome to Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. We are going to spend some time talking with Professor Tom Peavy and Eugene Koo. And Professor, tell us a little bit about the uh, Professional Science Masters in Stem Cell Research. And Eugene, you're our student in that program, but uh, Professor, you first. Yeah, so the um, Professional Science Masters or Masters of Arts in Stem Cell Concentration is uh, a program we, we established in 2009 that uh, is uh, funded by a grant, California Institute for Regenerative Medicine, and it's uh, a Bridges to Research stem cell grant that we re received. And uh, it's in collaboration with UC Davis, their uh, UC Davis stem cell program. Mm -hmm. And uh, the design of it is uh, really to get uh, graduate level students uh, out into the workforce, uh, into industry, academic jobs, and uh, or potentially to pursue uh, further education, PhDs, MDs, um, but really applied about stem cell research. And the idea is, uh, 
a very uh, concise program. So that's the professional science master's aspect is mm -hmm. uh, five um, semesters, two years. So really two academic years, they come out with their master's degree. All of these students get jobs right out of the bat, and uh, so we have a very good success rate on getting jobs. All right, Eugene, we want to get to you and tell us a little bit about what you're working on right now, your work in, the, in this program. Uh, yes, I've been with the program for about a year. Okay. And uh, I've been doing research with Dr. Peavy here, actually, for, for the last year. Okay. Uh, we do research on uh, applying stem cells to help uh, diabetic foot ulcers. And so uh, the general goal is to see what kind of effect that they can have uh, to induce the wound healing process uh, because diabetic foot ulcers, they, they have this uh, condition that's similar to a chronic wound, which means that it just doesn't heal properly. Mm -hmm. And so we just want to try to see if we can find ways to uh, use stem cells to help them overcome that, mm -hmm. that barrier to go through the entire wound healing process. There's a, we're going to just take a quick look at um, uh, some video that we shot with you, Professor PV, earlier uh, regarding take a look at one of the rooms. And so the students, the master students, are working in these rooms. The uh, wheelchair can roll up and be able to use all of the controls here. So this basically connects all the way up uh, to our fume stack that uh, send chemicals uh, and, and keep them away from, uh, from individuals, keep us safe. Yes, this is called an inverted fluorescence microscope. Okay, so and tell so us a little bit about uh, some of the, the research that's going on in, in the labs in your program. Uh, yes, yeah, so we have a variety of different research uh, on this going on. It's a variety of different disease teams, and, and uh, Eugene was just mentioning more of the wound healing aspect uh, and uh, skin wound healing, but there's uh, liver regenerative research, transplant research, there's uh, Huntington's disease teams, uh, Lou Gehrig's ALS. Um, there's a whole uh, variety of different labs these students can get involved in, and we have this, uh, the Chimera facility you're referring to, uh, trains these students to go out then also into the, uh, the, the UC Davis laboratory. So by the time they come out uh, of our labs to go into their, or out of the classes, they are really geared up to go learn how to do uh, the actual hands-on research in the different disease teams. Exciting time to uh, be a biologist. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good luck with your studies. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we appreciate this. And for more on uh, the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, you can log on to our website, dsus.edu slash made slash TV. And still to come, what the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics does for the community, including the stem cell lecture series. I'm Lauren, I'm a biological science major, and I'm made at Sac State. Hi, I'm Dan Deshes. I taught chemistry here, and I was made at Sac State 45 years ago. Sacramento State is closely connected with the community and is serious about making an investment in local teachers, students, and the community. Joining us now as we delve into the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics is Rich Hedman, and you are the director for our Center for Mathematics and Science Education, or MACE. Yes. And also here is Ron Coleman, and you are a biological sciences professor and also a STEM lecturer. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about the STEM mm -hmm. lecture series, and uh, Dean Trainer talked a little bit about it earlier. But tell us about this, uh, this lecture series and what it does for the community. There's so much interesting stuff that's going on in, in, at Sac State and in the surrounding scientific community, and this is our chance to share that with the rest of the community on campus and particularly the people in the surrounding community, the off-campus people. Tell us about your research and what you talked about in your STEM lecture. Well, I work on fishes. I work on how fishes take care of their kids. And I am fortunate to do that uh, in some wonderful places in the tropics. And I also do that in my lab here at Sa Sacramento State. And I have many wonderful students that work with me. And what I talked about was the work that we do in the tropics and also some of these great experiments that the young people are doing right here on this campus. And it's amazing the, uh, the way that you're teaching the students about um, biology, real life biology. It's, it's fun to do. It's also their chance to get a real world experience and to share that with the people in the community that this is possible. And one of our big messages is that young people in this area, they can do real science. We'd like to ask a little bit about uh, your program, and we do have some video of um, some local teachers, K through 12, here on campus. But tell us a little bit about MACE. 
Well, the MIS stands for the Center for Mathematics and Science Education. Mm -hmm. And uh, the mission of the MACE Center essentially is to improve the teaching and learning of science and mathematics in the schools of the Sacramento region. So to do this, we design programs that bring together uh, Sac State faculty members with teachers and they collaborate together and they learn from each other. And um, usually the teachers end up deepening their understanding of both math and science and they learn new instructional approaches to use when they get back to the classroom. There's another program that we have here uh, that, that addresses the community needs. And um, so tell us both of you how important it is to, to bring others into the Sac State campus and kind of share the wealth that we have here. I'm talking about expanding your horizons for young girls to get them interested in science. Exactly. Well, for these programs, um, the Sac State professors become resources that the teachers can draw upon because we, these relationships get fostered and that they can contact the professors if they have questions about uh, different science or mathematics content and so forth. And Ron, uh, tell us a little bit about the importance of, of, of all of this, the STEM it's, lecture series. It's critical that the young people, that we get them, uh, particularly in that age, uh, grade five, grade six, grade seven, when they're trying to decide what they want to do with their lives. And we want them to know that they can do this stuff and that they can have a, an interesting and fulfilling life in science and, and engineering and mathematics. That's what we're hoping for. We want to encourage them. And you do. Thank you both for being here. We appreciate you sharing this uh, with us and spending some time with us as we talk about the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Great. Thank you. Thanks. And for more on the College of NSM, you can log on to our website, csus.edu slash made slash TV. And still to come? Hi, my name is Ashley Jackson, and I'm a biochemistry major, and I am made at Sac State. Going to Sac State was really a rite of passage for the beginning of the rest of my life. I'm very happy that we brought one of the world's largest video game companies here to Sacramento. I started Sleep Train after graduating Sac State in 1984, and it's really what built the foundation of who I am today. I think that Sac State has made me into a leader. Most importantly, I think it's made me into a confident individual. I'm open to any opportunities. I'm Laura Gonzalez. I'm Dale Carlson. I'm Mark Otero, and I was made at Sac State. Welcome to Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga. We are going to spend some quality time talking to two students. We're very excited about that. We've got Kwamel McAuliffe joining us and Mamit Singh. Thank you both for being here. First of all, uh, you are a student at Sac State mm -hmm. and you hopefully will be a student at Sac State very soon. Yes. But you're here on campus studying. So tell us about the program that you're in and why you're here and what you're doing. Well, I'm currently in the Science Transfer Project, and that's under the Science Education and Equity Program here on campus. And they have an agreement with Los Rios and CSUS, so I'll be transferring here in the fall. We have an opportunity to do summer research every summer, and last summer I got to do ISR, and that's Introductory Science Research, and I worked with finding a natural cure to cancer. Okay, how exciting is that for you to come here and, and do this kind of research? Yeah, it's, it's really amazing. It's eye-opening and it gives you research experience that not very many students get an opportunity to do. All right, uh, Mamit Singh, you are currently a student and we actually have some video of some of the work and research that our undergraduate students are doing. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your work as an undergraduate student in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. As an undergraduate, I am part of the stem cell research team, which is called Stem Cell Partners. And I create, a, we have done projects about thrombin, which is an enzyme in our body that forms blood clots. So the poster that we made was about, it was based on 12 patients with their blood samples, and we tested them to see how long it takes to form a blood clot, and we used a coagulation analyzer to figure that out. How amazing is it to do this kind of research as a student here? It's really amazing. As a sophomore in college, I'm really lucky to have this opportunity given to me 
So I'm really excited to see the outcome of it. What um, are some of your long-term career goals? My career goals, I plan on going to medical school and I have a dream of becoming an orthopedic surgeon. And Kwamil, you're obviously interested in science. Uh, can you share what some long-term goals would be? Yes, I'm currently going to major in biology and I want to go to medical school as well or pursue a PhD in science and my research career would be like biomedical research. Our program is called Made at Sac State, so I want you both to sort of describe um, the Sac State experience. Tell us about your work with professors and uh, your work uh, here in this college. Working with professors is a really great experience. It builds networking opportunities. We get more experience towards medical, towards the medical field, and we find out more about what's happening. All right. We thank you both for um, being here and sharing your experiences with us, and good luck in your careers and your studies. And uh, you're both made at Sac State, so we appreciate you uh, being on our show. Thank, thank you. you. All right, thanks. And for more on our students and the work that they're doing in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, you can log on to our website. csus.edu slash made slash TV. And still to come. And about 300 community members come every year to bid on the items. And it raises money to help pay for the geology students field trips and events and they also use the money to create rock boxes for local teachers and schools. Hi, I'm Kendra and I'm a biology major and I made it at Sac State. Hi, my name is Margaret Johnson, my major is biochemistry and I made at Sac State. Next week on Made at Sac State, the College of Arts and Letters is dance, theater, music, art, and let's not forget the letters part of the College of Arts and Letters. We have English, history, foreign languages, and Charming. Uh -huh. <laughs> you are of no existence. Yes. Um, a great experience, lots of talented women. Um, the short clip that you showed of Ure actually earned her a nomination for KCACTF, which is the Kennedy Center American College Theater Festival. Get to know the College of Arts and Letters Thursday, September 19th at 6.30 a.m. I'm Alex Gonzalez, president of the university, and we're proud of all of our students who are made at Sac State. And thank you for spending some time with us in the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. We leave you now with one of the most popular events on this Sac State campus. The Rock Auction is organized by NSM students for NSM students, specifically the Geology Club. Money raised goes to student research and field trips. The Rock Auction, made at Sac State. This is a spectacular sample of three zeolite minerals. The sample is from India, most likely from Pune, India. These are crystals, these are minerals that grew off of a crack in a rock. This is a fossil, a shellfish that lived in the Jurassic Oceans about 170 million years ago. So this guy was swimming in the oceans when dinosaurs were walking around the landscape. This is a beautiful sample of purple fluorite which is a, uh, a halide mineral that forms in void spaces in the ground.